finally have enough money, Ash. Let's go see Sienna. She's at Clutter Haven, right? Yep, the factory where sea mail bottles are made. I hope she doesn't make us haggle a price for the island. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be okay. Episode 7, The Rainbow Bird. Renting Phantom Isle from Sienna? Could I speak to her? Well, Sienna's with a client in the back. Hang out a sec. Sienna! Yo, Sienna! Murasaki, please. Try not to yell when I'm busy with guests. Oh, is that Morona? This is a surprise. To what do I owe this pleasure? I'd like to buy the island I've been renting. The island, huh? This isn't like clothes shopping, you know. Are you sure you can afford it? Yes, I brought all my money with me. Whoa, 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 wait just a minute! Silly kid, I'm the one buying Phantom Isle. Get lost! Give it up, Cauldron. I already told you that island isn't for sale. Unfortunately, I have a bad habit of not giving up. I'll do whatever it takes to get what I want. Hear that, little girl? You've got a long way to go before you can compete with me. You shouldn't play with the big boys if you don't have the money. But I do have the money. Huh? How? What are you? She's a chroma, though I'm a little surprised. That's quite a bit of money. I'm sorry, but I'm still not selling the island. That island is... special to me. Oh... But Sienna, you're still gonna sell me the island, right? I'll double, triple her offer. I'm gonna come back day after day until you agree to sell it to me. If you want the island that badly, then you'll have to do something for me. All right. What do you need? I'll do anything! Go to the Island of Evil and bring back the Rainbow Bird. The Island of Evil? Even the most skilled Chromas and Ravens steer clear of that twisted place. I can't go because of my bad leg. I've been looking for someone to help me. Oh, I get it. You're expecting me to just throw in the towel. Think whatever you wish. Well, forget it. Cauldron the Island Collector never leaves empty-handed. I accept your request. Nothing will stand in my way. I'll hire the strongest ravens. Fox, puppeteer of the dead. Amazons, Zephyr Wings. Fighting beasts! And don't forget the White Wolf Army! Aha! The White Wolf Army got your attention, didn't it? Looks like I've won the challenge. Um, excuse me. What the? You're still here. Go home, you little brat. Sienna? 
If I brought you the rainbow bird, you'd sell me the island then, right? What? What did she say? Nobody believed it. For a child like Morona, the island of evil meant certain death. They wondered if she had finally lost her mind. <laughs> These fools made it farther than I thought they would. Fat lot of good it'll do them when I steal the reward out from under their noses. Hey, rookie, get moving! As long as you're a fighting beast, you're expected to work hard! Understood, Captain Drab. Oh, I'll work hard to find the rainbow bird for myself. <laughs> Hello, little girl. Are you here for a picnic? You aren't going to look for the rainbow bird, are you? No, I'm going to find it. Did you hear that? I'm going to find it. <laughs> oh, 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 dude, my stomach hurts. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> You guys done laughing yet? What are you? A phantom. You little brat! You're that one Chroma! In that case, there's no need to hold back. Let's mess him up! You'll go no further. For her sake, I will not fail!
for such a stupid trap. Some Amazons we are. Boss, that guy was the newest member of the Fighting Beasts. No, the Beast would at least bite his head on. He's not one of them. He's probably just a no-good Chroma who heard about the huge reward. Hey, Boss, it's some girl this time. <laughs> Another Chroma? Don't drop your guard just because she's a child. She's probably in league with that other guy. Goddess of war, grant us intuitive rage! Cobalt booze! Here. Boom! Take this! 
Here I come. It's over! Yeah! 
Yeah. Hmm, it's been a while. One of my ravens must have caught the rainbow bird by now. That crazy brat has a lot of nerve. Challenging ravens of that caliber? She's a fool, that's for sure. Sienna, why didn't you stop her? Yeah, aren't we sort of responsible if she dies or something? Well, that girl is... Never mind. You're the rookie from the Fighting Beasts. You won't get away with this, you bastard! Probably not, but I will get away with a bounty. <laughs> Shut up! I'm gonna make you regret ever challenging me in battle! Whoa there, who said anything about battle? You're strong enough to be your own clan. Only an idiot would jump into such an uneven fight. Hey, you're... Aha! It's about time, partner. 
Huh? Partner? Oh, don't worry. He's all yours. Um, huh? What did he mean? Looks like we walked into a trap. His partner, hmm? Then you won't mind paying for what he did! To my call, forsaken spirits of the dead, Viridian Copper!
下。
We found her! Yahoo! Must be Morona, the possessed Chroma! I am, but how do you know me? Walnut told us all about the traps you've been setting for us, Zephyr Wings. That wasn't me! Just how far is Walnut willing to go? Enough talk! Have at you! Winds howl and talons tear! Zephyr spirit, my Azotis!
It's over! It's over! It's over! Yeah! Take this! My turn! So, this is the Rainbow Bird. Oh, that bird! Damn, we're too late. Hmm. Did you come for the Rainbow Bird as well? Yes. Impressive that a child your age could make it this far. Not many girls would be brave enough to walk the Island of Evil alone. Uh, I'm not alone. Well, aren't you full of surprises? I assume you're a Chroma. I'm Morona, and this is Ash. I am Raphael, leader of the White Wolf Army. Some call me 
Raphael the Invincible. Raphael the Invincible? You mean one of the Nine Swords of Ivoire? Some also call me that. Are you the real Raphael? There's only one of me in this world, as far as I know. Oh, because we met someone who was using your name to scare people. Is that so? Where can I find this scoundrel? You don't need to worry. What do you mean? We've already taught him a lesson. Ah, I see. Then some thanks are in order. Is money the true reason you came to this island? You are Chromas, but there must be some other motive. Um, yes, actually. I may be convinced to part with the Rainbow Bird. Huh? Really? Yes, if you can defeat me in battle. So you're going to go easy on us? Of course not. I'm honoring you with my true power. I can do no less. Why are you doing this? I'm intrigued by two Chromas who would travel all this way for the Rainbow Bird. If we beat you, you'll really give us the Rainbow Bird? Yes, on my honor. Morona, think this through. He's Raphael the Invincible, one of the Nine Swords of Ivoire. I know, but without that bird, Sienna won't sell us the island. That doesn't matter. We can't win the battle on principle. But we can't just give up without trying, Ash. Think about everything we've already gone through. Where would we be if we gave up whenever things got difficult? You're right. We've already come this far. I knew you wouldn't shy away from a challenge. Allow me to demonstrate my skill. May the true path shine forth in justice. Heliotrope Blade!
Electro Blade! Farewell. Damn it. At least we know he didn't go easy on us. But I can't give up yet. I've seen enough. The two of you are very impressive. Wait, I still... It's yours. Huh? Sometimes a truly good fight is the ultimate reward. Hey, wait! So that's Raphael the Invincible. Hmm. Morona reflected on the encounter. Why did I fight if I knew I would lose? Why do I keep fighting if I hate doing so? She repeated the questions in her mind, but the answers escaped her. We should take the Rainbow Bird to Sienna right away. Yep, good idea. Not so fast. The Rainbow Bird is mine. I don't know how you two found that Technicolor Phoenix, but it makes things easier for me. Now you show up. We won't give you the Rainbow Bird. I don't expect you to give it to me. I expect to take it by force. All this just for money? And why not? Money makes the world go round, you know. I'm sorry you think that way. <laughs> Naive girl, you have no idea how the world works. And you do? Of course I do. I've experienced the harsh realities of money firsthand. Money can buy love, pride, happiness, even life. That is reality. You're wrong. Fire of battle! Reveal my heart! Psycho Burgundy! I'll teach you brats a lesson!
Let's do it! I will protect you. There! Psycho Burgundy! Ah. Psycho Burgundy! Die. Psycho Burgundy! Ah!
Let's do it!
Great! Money. I'm as good as dead. I need that money. What a horrible obsession. I don't believe the money is what he's really after. Mm. What are you going to do? You're too nice, Morona. Hey, wait! What are you doing with the bird? Don't tell me you're... <laughs> she knew it seemed stupid to give up the rainbow bird after working so hard to find it. But Morona felt moved by Walnut's determination. He deserved it just as much as she did. 
you need to think about your own plans, too. Now we've come all this way for nothing. I know, Ash, but... What's happening? Morona, get away from there! It's gone. It escaped? Yes, it started shining, and once the light had disappeared, the bird was gone. I see. You shouldn't lie, little girl. Why should we believe you beat all those ravens? I hired the best of the best, you know? It's madness. You're just a child. I just told you. Never mind. I'll go see for myself. Hmm. Sienna? Your partner, Ash, was it? He's here now, isn't he? Yes. I'd like to meet him. Okay. You're Ash? Yes, Miss Sienna. So you're the one behind all the possessed rumors. Sienna, you knew? Well, yes, I am the elder of my islands, after all. And you still let us rent Phantom Isle? I was interested in getting to know you. Huh? Okay, wait here. Sienna's doing? What if she's going to evict us? Nah, I think it'll be okay. She wasn't afraid of me. Well, I hope you're right. Here you go. What's this? Rona! That's the deed to Phantom Isle. What? But why? We didn't bring you the Rainbow Bird. Uh, I changed my mind. I want you to have the island. Don't worry about the money. No, I couldn't. Not after I lost the Rainbow Bird. I have to give you something. It's okay. I don't need money. Please, accept the island as a gift. What changed your mind? My, my. Aren't you a cautious one? I just don't want to see Marona hurt. She's been through too much, and seen too much disappointment. Are you comparing me to the people who hurt her in the past? Um... <laughs> don't worry so much. I want to do something for Marona. It's nothing more than that. Okay, if you guys are gonna be like that, I'll take this as payment. What's that? Well, this was part of the treasure you brought along. It just happens to be the perfect model for a ship I was planning to build. So, how about it? One island in exchange for this model ship? Are you sure that's all you want? Of course. It's settled then. From today on, Phantom Isle is yours. And so, Morona and Ash earned the right to call Phantom Isle their own. After all that had happened, they decided it was time to rest. Since when do you trust people? And, uh, you just gave away a whole island for free. 
Those two deserve it. They may have come along just in time. You call yourselves ravens? You let a little girl beat you up! What are you guys doing out here? Are your muscles painted on? Are those scowls? Or are you wearing makeup? We're sorry, Cauldron. It's the rookie's fault any of this happened. Who the heck is that? Some Cromer, sir. He lurched into a trap, so we couldn't find a bird. <laughs> I see. So you're blaming him, huh? Well, he's got stones if he's messing with us, that's for sure. You made a mistake to cross me, Chroma. Don't expect to get many more jobs. And if I ever see you again, you're a dead man. You ruined our reputation, you bastard! Look at all that money! No! <laughs> that, that money is... Shut up! <laughs> Take everything he's got! Walnut, what happened? You're torn apart. You did it again, didn't you? What did I tell you? It's his fault. His fault. Stay with me, Walnut. You'll be drinking again in no time. Barkeep, I need bandages. Hurry. I would have gotten away with it if those two hadn't been there. I won't forgive them. I can't. Morona! Morona! Pleased to have her own island, Morona was able to forget about work and slept in for the first time in a while. have more sea mails. Huh? Oh, okay. The requests haven't stopped coming, even though I don't need the work? That's right. Word must be spreading. There haven't been as many insulting letters lately. What should we do, Morona? Are you really going to stop working? still need help. I can't quit. I still want to help people. They may hurt your feelings again. Are you prepared for that? God gave me this power for a reason. I want to continue using it to help others. I think Mom and Dad would want that too. Morona. You're right. 
and you can always count on me to be here with you. Chapter 2, Expanding Horizons.